Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of da, 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 Draw with Rob With me, Rob Bidolf, now then, I am a children's author and illustrator You might have seen some of my picture books Have you seen this one? It's called Show and Tell And it's about a class full of children Who bring in, bring in some really crazy things for show and tell It's a fun one, that one Maybe you've seen my first ever chapter book Called Peanut Jones and the Illustrated City full of nice drawings a very good one to read as a class just saying um I've got a couple of new books coming out I thought I'd quickly tell you about um and I've only just finished making them so much so that I don't have any actual copies of them but I'm going to show you the covers anyway because I have a new picture book coming out and this is it the blue footed booby it sounds a bit rude I grant you but a booby is a type of bird this type of bird and it actually is a real thing with blue feet and that's a really fun story that's coming out very soon keep an eye out for that and I also have a new Peanut Jones book coming out it's going to be a trilogy this series of books and the second book is called Peanut Jones and the 12 portals here is the cover and that is coming out very soon too and I'm super proud of it so there you go keep an eye out for those two but we are here today as per usual to do a little drawing together now I'm sitting here in London. It's very, very warm today. Summer has arrived in London. So I thought we would do a nice summery drawing today. I am gonna show you guys how to draw a very cute ice cream character. Okay, and this is a super fun one to do. Now, just in case you haven't watched any of these Draw With Rob videos before, this is how they work. Lots of people say to me they don't think they're very good at drawing. I say nonsense. Everybody can draw. Some people just need a bit of help with the order that we do the drawings in. Now that's where I come in because I can help you. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to break this drawing down into bite-sized pieces and I'm going to draw a little tiny bit of the drawing on my piece of paper here. Then you can pause the video while you copy what I do. Start me up again, I will draw a bit more. Pause me, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And by the end, we're going to end up with a lovely little ice cream character that we are all super proud of. And this is a good one because we can color our ice creams any color we want at the end. So we're gonna end up hopefully with a rainbow of different ice cream characters. Right, so what you're gonna need, a piece of paper. Oh, my piece of paper's a bit dirty. I'm gonna turn it over. There we go, a bit cleaner on that side. You're gonna need a piece of paper. You're gonna need a pen or a pencil, something to draw with. You will need maybe something to color with later. If you don't have any colors, don't you worry about it. Just shade with your pencil, that's absolutely fine. But if you do have colors, this is a good one to use them in, okay? Right, let's start, shall we? Now, the first thing that I want you to do is, right in the middle of your piece of paper, I want you to draw a horizontal line. Oop about that sort of length. So what's that? Eight centimeters, 10 centimeters, something like that. So a nice, easy start to this episode of Draw With Rob. Okay, the next thing I want you to do, underneath that line, we're gonna draw another line. Exactly the same length, like that. Now you can see my line is not dead straight. It's a bit wobbly, wibbly wobbly. It goes thick and thin because I'm using my nice brush pen here. I like that sort of thick and thin texture. But an important thing to say about these Draw With Rob videos is don't worry if yours doesn't look exactly like mine or isn't perfect. You can see mine's not perfect. My lines are wobbly and they're thick and thin all over the place. Do you know what? That's what add, adds character to our drawings. So don't you worry if yours isn't exactly the same as mine. There is no right or wrong answer with drawing. The worst thing you can do is screw your piece of paper up and start again or rub it out. Just keep on drawing. If you think you've made a mistake, you haven't. Keep on going, okay? Right, the next thing to do, we're gonna join these two ends up. We're gonna join them up in a little bit of a curve like that. So one curve there and one curve there. So we have a kind of long sausage shape. <sighs> right, next team. What we wanna do here, we're gonna make our ice cream cone. So we need to draw a sort of upside down triangle like this. So let's start at the right hand end, just a little bit in from the curved end. I want you to do a diagonal line. And it comes down like this until it gets roughly to the midpoint of our sausage shape, like that. 
Then we're going to do exactly the same on the other side, but I don't want them to meet in the middle quite. We're going to stop about half a centimetre apart, and that's because I want to do a nice rounded end for the end of our ice cream cone, like so. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Now this one's a nice quick and easy one actually. So, you know, we're about halfway through our drawing, believe it or not. Okay, now lots of different types of ice cream. You could do, if you want, you could just do a big semicircle like that. So it's like a one scoop kind of ice cream. But I'm gonna do mine like one of those kind of Mr. Whippy ones. It goes up like that, because it's fun to draw. And I'll show you how we do that. The first thing to do is from just above where the triangular part of our cone joins this kind of lip, I want you to do a curve. About that sort of size, so almost like a sort of C shape, okay? And then we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side, but a mirror image, like that. Then we're gonna do the same again. We're gonna come out and we're gonna go in, but can you see they're getting slightly closer together we do another mirror image, but we're doing them slightly closer together. So it's almost like they're going to a peak at the top as well. And the last one is a bit more complicated. So let's maybe extend that round a bit. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out in a curve then we're gonna go along a bit further like that. Then we're gonna curve around this way. So it's like a reverse S shape. And then finally, we're gonna come all the way back round and curve down here and join up. So there we go. There's our like Mr. Whippy shaped ice cream. Nice and easy when you break it down, isn't it? Okay, let's give our ice cream character a little flake. You know, one of those nice chocolate flakes that you stick inside an ice cream, especially when you get one from the ice cream van. Why do ice creams from the ice cream van always taste nicer than ones that you get at home? That's not fair, is it? I don't know why that is, but in my experience, that is the case. Right, what I want you to do is coming out of this middle bump here, I want you to draw a diagonal line coming up and out like that. Then we're gonna draw another one about a centimetre, a centimetre and a half apart from that, going at exactly the same angle, coming out like that. And then we're just gonna join it across at the top. Now, if you like, you can do some little kind of flaky shape like a little W shape in there to make it look a bit kind of flaky. And that is pretty much the silhouette of our ice cream. Now I said we're gonna make this into a little cute, kind of kawaii style ice cream character. Do you know, if you wanna make anything into a kawaii style character, all you have gotta do is add two eyes and a little mouth. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. We're gonna do them down here in this, in this sort of bottom bump. We're gonna draw a circle over this side, like that. We're gonna do another one exactly the same over here, like that. If you like, you can sort of add little lines like that to make it look like they've sort of got slight sort of lid bits. And then inside each one, we're just gonna add a little circle that we color in. And look, that little ice cream suddenly has hopes and dreams. It is a little, <laughs> it is a little character. And then in the middle, we're just gonna add a nice little smiley like that and pretty much that is a very simple kawaii ice cream character now then there's a few things that we're going to do when we color actually do you know what i'm going to show you because i'm going to i was going to do everything else to do with this drawing as part of the coloring thing but before that i think i think our ice cream should have a bit you know when they put the syrup on the top of an ice cream like you usually it's usually chocolate syrup or maybe raspberry syrup Either way, we're gonna do some, I'm gonna use my pen to do some outline of the, of the syrup for when we color. So what I want you to do is we're gonna start in the middle bump here, and we're gonna start by going down, then we're gonna come up, then we're gonna curve, we're gonna come down again, then we're gonna curve around, we're gonna go up, we're gonna go up into the first bump this time, and we're gonna curve around, we're gonna go up again, and then finally we're gonna come down like that. So we've got to imagine that the top bit of our ice cream has had some nice syrup dribbled down on it and it's starting to run down a little ice cream person's face. <laughs> 
So now we're gonna do some coloring, okay? So I'm gonna go into super speed mode as usual, but I'm gonna do a couple of things when I color that I will tell you about afterwards, okay? So I'm gonna be back in 20 or 30 seconds time with a fully colored in little ice cream character and I will explain what I've done then, okay? So I'll see you back here in 20 or 30 seconds. You ready? Three, two, one, go. There we go. There is my finished, coloured in, ice cream character. Pretty cute, huh? Pretty cute, I like this guy. So, I told you I was gonna tell you a few little tips and tricks when I was colouring in. First thing I did was coloured in the cone. Now, to make it look like it's kind of a round, a rounded cone shape as opposed to a triangle, you can see I've decided that my light is coming in from this side, so I've shaded it a bit darker on the right-hand side, but crucially, I've left a tiny little slither of light colour right at the edge and that really helps to make it look kind of three-dimensional i don't really know why that works but if you look at if you were to pick up an actual ice cream cone and sort of hold it in the light you would see that that's how it goes and it really helps to give your drawing some three-dimensionality i've also added some sort of crisscross pattern like that to make it look like that kind of waffly ice cream cone texture so by just doing the simple crisscrosses it really really helps with that Similarly, I've tried to make the actual ice cream look a bit rounded by shading it on one side as well and I've added very faint lines across kind of each join of the swirly-whirly bit and then I've, I've decided to go for a nice chocolate sauce. That's what it was at the top, chocolate sauce. Again, I've added some shading just to make it look slightly three-dimensional. The final bit I want to tell you about is the flake. I have added some lines like that, a bit like kind of wood grain texture, just to make it look nice and flaky and delicious. So what do you think? It's cute, isn't it? A very, very easy thing to do, this ice cream character. The perfect thing to draw when it's hot at this time of year, the summertime, a lovely thing to do. It's almost, it sort of cools you down when you're drawing something cool, I think. Now, I am hoping that you have gone crazy with the colors because do you know what? I could have done anything here. I could have done like a rainbow colored ice cream, maybe one layer pink, one layer green, one layer yellow or something like that. Maybe even stripes. Maybe there was loads of patterns. Maybe you want to add some sprinkles to your ice cream, some little heart shapes and star shaped sprinkles or those little kind of hundreds and thousands, all sorts of different colors on your ice cream. The brilliant thing about Draw With Rob is it's totally up to you what you do. This is just a guide, this is just a starting point. And so you could do more than one, you could do, this is quite a quick one to do, so you could draw a few different ice cream templates and then do a whole range of ice creams. I would love to see those. Um, how do I see those? Well, I'm glad you asked. What you do is you need to get somebody to take a picture of your drawing and then post it online using the Draw With Rob hashtag. That's the way that I will get to see it. If you're watching on Facebook, you can comment below this post and post it there and I get to see it that way too. If you are drawing this at school, maybe as a little end of term treat at school, why don't you get your teacher to take a picture of you all holding up your drawings. If you, if you don't want to, your face to be on the internet, then you could put the drawings over your face, but I would love to see a whole class full of ice cream drawings. That would be fabulous. Oh, I nearly forgot. We need to sign our drawings, don't we? So, very important that you do this. Let's add my name down here, Rob Biddle, with a little kiss so that everybody knows who has created these lovely works of art. Now I think our little ice cream friend here needs some friends of his own, doesn't he? So do you know what? Keep an eye out for the next Draw With Rob video because I'm gonna show you how to draw some little frozen snack friends for our little ice cream pal here, okay? So keep your eyes peeled for the next video, okay? In the meantime, I want you all to keep on drawing, keep those pencils sharpened, keep on reading too, and I'll see you again very soon for another episode of Draw With Rob. Bye everyone.
Hello everyone, just when you thought you got rid of me, here I am again popping up at the end of your video to annoy you. <laughs> and I'm here today to tell you all about this, the brand new Draw With Rob activity book. And it's called Amazing Animals. And that's because it's full of loads of amazing animals. It's true, it really is. We've got little ones, like this guy here. We have got, ooh, some really big ones. We have got animals that live in the sea. We have got animals that spend most of their time up in the sky. And of course, there's loads and loads of really, really cute ones. <laughs> um, what's in the book, I hear you ask? Well, we have got loads and loads of really cool and quite tricky puzzles for you to do. Uh, we've got some pages where I start the drawings off and you guys get to finish them. We have got lots of really, really nice colouring pages for you to do too. And of course, it wouldn't be a Draw With Rob book without lots of exclusive, never before seen draw alongs. And I've got the frames as per usual for you to put the pictures in. And of course, all the pages are perforated. So once you've done your beautiful works of art, you can tear them out and stick them up on the wall and display them for all to see. And then when you get to the end of your book, look, We've got a really cool certificate. You put your name in there and it says, this is to certify that your name is officially an amazing animal artist. Isn't that cool? The book is out right now. You can get it right now from wherever you get your books, be it online or from your local bookshop, local bookshop, if you can, please. It was so much fun to put this book together. I really, really loved doing it. I really, really hope you love the book too. I think if you like these videos, I think you're going to love this book, to be honest. So get yourself a copy. If you do, let me know what you think of it. Right, I better let you go. You've got to get on with your day, haven't you? I'm going to be back very soon with another Draw With Rob video. In the meantime, everybody, keep those pencils sharpened, keep on drawing, keep on reading, and take care. Bye-bye.